Two UL professors are being sent to the Gulf to research the impacts of the oil spill. I'm KATC's Veronica White. I'll tell you about their work on plants and wildlife. You're watching news that gets to the point on KATC TV3, Acadiana's news channel. Good evening, everyone, and we hope you're having a happy July 5th. Thank you so much for joining us. We begin with a very active tropical weather pattern in the Gulf. We've been watching this weak area of low pressure that's been uh, just to the south of coastal Terrebonne Bay. Alrighty, Rob, along the Gulf Coast today, this holiday weekend was a dismal 4th of July weekend as tourists stayed away in droves and residents watched more oil wash on land. New UL Lafayette professors are being sent to the Gulf of Mexico as well to study the crude disaster's impact. One to study the focus on plant life. The other on wildlife, both indicators of how the oil can affect communities along the shore. KTC's Veronica White caught up with them as they prepared for their trip. Seaweed and shellfish. Two UL professors got an almost $200,000 grant to study these life forms in the Gulf. Signs of how the oil spill impacts coastal communities. This is just the first trip we're taking. It's, a, it's called a rapid proposal. Biology professor Suzanne Frederick and Daryl Felder, who've studied the Gulf for years, asked the National Science Foundation to let them do a year-long project, starting with a 10-day boat ride from Louisiana to Florida to gather samples. Suzanne plants and Daryl small animals. All plants, they provide uh, oxygen. And, of course, oxygen is needed to sustain the whole food chain. Yeah? So if you don't have oxygen, you're going to have those dead zones. In my own case, I'm working with the decapods, the crabs, shrimps, and lobsters that are over a thousand species in the Gulf of Mexico. So these are excellent indicator organisms for the health of communities. All those samples will come right back here to UL Science Labs, where the professors will study them. We have a, a huge resource here in terms of databases and specimens for biodiversity of the Gulf of Mexico. We're something of a center. They will go on the trip by November. In Lafayette, Veronica White, KATC TV3, Acadiana's News Channel. And you can read more about their work on our continuous news website, KTC.com.